Our atmosphere is one of the many reasons that Earth is unique among planets. The atmosphere allows life as we know it, influencing everything we see and hear. It's everywhere, but is also there in the background. It's mostly invisible, odorless, and tasteless. Yet, it's immensely important. Hello everyone, I'm Ryan, and this is Weather with Ryan. Today, we're discussing why our atmosphere is so important to life on Earth. This is going to be the first video in a series about the fundamentals of the atmosphere. If you're interested in learning more about the atmosphere, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Life on Earth would not exist as we know it without an atmosphere. The gases in today's atmosphere are essential to all biological life forms. We would only survive a few minutes without it. Much like a fish cannot live outside of water, we cannot live outside our atmosphere. The composition of gases found in our atmosphere, which we'll go over in more detail in a future video, is just one of the ways that it helps protect the Earth. Our atmosphere is composed primarily of nitrogen and oxygen, allowing life and keeping the Earth at an average temperature of 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Our neighboring planet Venus is roughly the same size as Earth, but is uninhabitable due to the composition of its atmosphere. Its atmosphere is primarily carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, leading to a surface temperature of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. This large amount of carbon dioxide also leads to a much thicker atmosphere, leading to the surface pressures of Venus being much higher than that of Earth. Given the omnipresent nature of the atmosphere, it's easy to forget how important it truly is. We can travel endlessly along the surface of the Earth, but can only travel 5 miles upwards away from Earth before the atmosphere becomes too thin for us to breathe. Remarkably, something this vital to Earth and its inhabitants is incredibly shallow. 99% of our atmosphere is within 20 miles of the surface. Although the atmosphere doesn't truly have an upper boundary, it becomes infinitely thinner the farther away you get from Earth. Outside of the composition of the Earth's atmosphere, its presence also protects the Earth from space debris. There's a lot of debris out in the vastness of space, and without the atmosphere, any debris that is captured by the Earth's gravitational field would be rocketed towards the surface. Instead, as these debris enter the atmosphere at very high speeds, they begin to burn up due to the friction of the air molecules. If you've ever visited one of the space shuttles preserved in museums around the US, you may have noticed that they are covered in special ceramic plating. These ceramic plates are designed to protect the spacecraft from the heat associated with the massive amount of friction associated with re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Another equally as important role of the atmosphere is to shield the surface from harmful radiation from the sun. Without the atmosphere, Earth would not have any lakes or oceans. There would be no clouds, no sunsets, and there wouldn't even be sound. Sound requires a medium to move through as it vibrates the molecules as it passes. The surface of Earth would resemble the surface of the moon as the surface is continually bombarded with solar radiation. As a result, daytime temperatures would be scorching. Without any air to retain the heat from the daytime, nighttime would be frigidly cold. Another consequence would be that there would be no protection from the harmful ultraviolet radiation that we see from the sun. This UV radiation is the cause of skin cancer and is why we wear sunscreen. Our atmosphere contains ozone, which blocks UV radiation from hitting the surface. This is why the ozone hole is such a concern. Without ozone, UV radiation can reach the surface and harm life. Ozone is, however, a dual-edged sword. The ozone responsible for absorbing UV radiation is high up in the atmosphere in a layer called the stratosphere, where it is harmless to us here at the surface. But ozone at the surface is poisonous and is a pollutant and is the leading cause of photochemical smog. Putting this all together, we can see why the atmosphere is often referred to as a protective blanket. It serves numerous roles in protecting the Earth while being incredibly thin, much like a blanket that you use to keep warm in the winter. Until next time, keep looking at the sky.